You know, every now and then a scan tool will come along that completely changes the industry, changes the game. Right now, this is that scan tool. This is a ThinkScan 689 from ThinkCard, a compact professional level scan tool that can not only read codes, but can also do bi-directional controls. Now, what really sets this scan tool apart from every other scan tool on the market is the fact that you never have to pay for a subscription. When you buy this tool, it comes with lifetime updates. That means that you no longer have to shell out 100, 150, $200 every single year just to use your scan tool. With this tool, those days are over. Now, let me show you a little bit of what the scan tool can do. Today, we're here in this 2013, this is a Dodge Ram 1500 and the shop just replaced the ABS module. If you look over here on the dash, you can see we have a warning light for service anti-lock brake system and we have a flashing ABS light. So I'm gonna start by automatically identifying the VIN number. It's doing the VIN scan. We got this really cool 3D graphic. Okay, so there's our VIN number and make and model. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run a full health report. And what that's gonna do is it's going to scan all of the modules on the vehicle and it's gonna show us what modules have codes. The other cool thing is that right up here, you can see it's showing us our battery voltage. And right here, we can see all of the codes that we have stored in all of the modules. We can even run a report and send this scan to the customer via email. But right now, what I want to focus on is the ABS module. As you can see, we have this code C2206 vehicle configuration mismatch. Again, the shop replaced the ABS module with the used one. So I'm going to show you guys how we can match that used module over to this vehicle. So we're going to start by selecting the ABS module and we're going to come down here to special function. And the one we're looking for is right here, ABS initialization. That's going to do the full setup of getting this ABS module adapted over to this vehicle. It's also going to write the VIN number into it. So the vehicle is running right now. Before we can continue, I'm gonna shut it off and then I'm gonna turn the ignition back on. Okay, so our ignition is on and we're gonna click ABS initialization. Please exercise caution, okay? Make sure that the vehicle is on level ground and that the steering wheel is centered. Okay, so we've got our steering wheel perfectly centered. We're gonna click okay. It says the ESP sensor initialization completed. Now it's gonna begin the G sensor calibration. It's calibrating the G sensor. Okay, so we're done with the calibration. Calibration. Now it wants us to cycle the ignition. So we're going to turn it off and then back on again. We're going to hit OK. Now it's going to clear the rolls information. Make sure the engine is off and the ignition is on. It's resetting the rolls information. And just like that, our test is completed. Now let's back out and we're going to go ahead and clear the fault code. Clear fault code completed. Now I'm going to cycle the ignition off and we're going to start this thing up. Now let's take a look and see if we still have our message. And as you can see, we no longer have a message for the ABS and we no longer have an ABS light over here. We can even go back into the ABS module and read our fault codes. And as you can see, we no longer have any DTCs. Now that's a fix. Now, if you guys are looking for more information on the brand new ThinkScan 689, I will leave a link in the description where you guys can check it out, get some more information on it and maybe get your hands on one of these. And like I said, guys, free lifetime updates. You can't beat it.